Welcome to our Math Sia Teleklase. I am Teacher Tintin, signing in for another mathy wonderful episode. Come, join me, and let's explore the beauty of mathematics. Our topic for this day is about expressing one value as a fraction of another, given the ratio and vice versa. To start with, let us know first our objective. By the end of today's lesson, you will be able to express one value as a fraction of another given the ratio and vice versa. Is the objective clear? Alright, let's go! Now, let us begin by defining ratio. Ratio is a way of comparing two or more quantities having the same unit. These quantities may be separate entities. We are comparing two things like boy and girl, pen and pencil, or different parts of a whole. Example, comparing number of boys and number of girls in the same section or in the same family. Note, the order of the terms in a ratio must correspond to order of object being compared. To better understand this statement, here is an example. Example number one. Compare the number of balls to the number of rockets and vice versa. The number of balls should be counted first before the number of rockets since the ball were written first in the given comparison. Now, let us count the number of balls, then the number of rockets. There are three ways on how to write ratio. Number one, colon form. Number two, fraction form. Number 3, word form. Using the first example, we will compare the number of balls and number of rockets using the three ways on writing ratio. How many balls do we have? We have 8 balls. How about the rockets? We have 5. In column form, we will use the column or total dock to separate the two quantities. 8 is to 5. While in fraction form, we will use the fraction bar wherein the first quantity be the numerator and the second quantity be the denominator. And in word form, we will use the words is to in separating the quantities. 8 is to 5. In the first example, we encountered the phrase vice versa, which means we will write the ratio the other way around. For column form, 8 is to 5 will become 5 is to 8 since we counted first the rockets over the balls. For fraction form, 8 fifths will become 5 eighths. And for the word form, 8 is to 5 will be 5 is to 8. Is that clear? Great! Example number 2. Express the ratio of 5 to 25 centavo coins to 2 peso coins in fraction 4. As we can see, the given quantities have different units. One is in centavo and the other one is in peso. In order for us to express the ratio, we need the quantities to be of the same unit by converting one of them. In this case, we will convert peso into centavo. We'll know that in a peso, we have 4 25 centavos. Therefore, in 2 pesos, we have 8 25 centavos. Since we already have the same unit, we can proceed now in expressing the ratio. Based from the given, we need to express the ratio using fraction form. What would be our numerator? Right, it is 5. How about our denominator? Correct, it is 8. Therefore, the answer is 5 eighths. Did you get it? Good! Example number 3. Express 6 days as a fraction of 2 weeks. Before expressing 6 days as a fraction of 2 weeks, let us change a week into day to make the units similar. We have 7 days in a week, 
Therefore, there are 14 days in 2 weeks. Thus, the fraction will be 6 fourteenths. 6 fourteenths can be simplified to 3 sevenths using the greatest common factor, which is 2. Let us practice your understanding by answering the items placed in the boxes. I will give you 20 seconds for each item. Box 1 question. Write 40 minutes as a fraction of 2 hours. Letter A, 1 thirds. Letter B, 2 thirds. Letter C, 4 thirds. Letter D, 5 thirds. The correct answer is 40 over 120 or 1 thirds. Box 2 question. Write 8 months as a fraction of 1 year. A. 3 fifths B. 4 thirds C. 5 eighths D. 2 thirds The correct answer is 8 over 12 or 2 thirds. Box 3 question. There are 16 apple trees and 6 mango trees in Mang Cardo's farm. What is the ratio of mango to apple trees? A. 3 sevenths B. 2 ninths C. 3 eighths D. 3 tenths The answer is 6 over 16 or 3 eighths. Box 4 question. There are 10 buses at a station. If each bus has 6 wheels, what is the ratio of buses to wheels? A. 1 6 B. 1 8 C. 3 10 D. 4 15 The answer is 10 over 60 or 1 6. Box 5 question. Mrs. Dalisa's class has 10 boys and 20 girls. What is the ratio of boys to girls in fraction form? A. 3 fourths B. 5 6 C. 2 fifths D. 1 half The answer is 10 over 20 or 1 half. How many of you got 4 and 5 correct answers? Congratulations! You did a good job in today's lesson. Let us now recall the concept of expressing one value as a fraction of another given the ratio and vice versa. Ratio is a way of comparing two or more quantities having the same unit. 
these quantities may either be separate entities or different parts of a whole. Meanwhile, there are three ways on how to write ratio. First is column form. Second is fraction form. And third is word form. Always remember, when we are dealing with fractions, it should always be in simplified form. Another lesson has passed. I hope you learned well. Once again, I am Teacher Tintin, your math teleclass teacher, now signing off. Until we meet again, goodbye!